everyone uh, welcome back so in the previous video we talked about peering concept where the data is not encrypted however in this video we'll be talking about the virtual network gateway so we're going to create it and configure it so in this uh, we'll be using the vpn uh, where uh, the data is encrypted so let's go ahead and start so i already created the virtual network gateway because it takes like more than 30 minutes to create it so that is the reason i already created uh, the network so let me show you what i have done here so just go and create a virtual network so just use your uh, azure pass and we have here two different options uh, the vpn and express route and the vpn tab is route based and policy based so in this i have selected these two so basically coming to express route uh, it provides the direct connectivity to azure uh, cloud services and uh, connecting a microsoft like global network all uh, transfer data is not encrypted and uh, it doesn't go over through public internet whereas the vpn gateway provides secure connectivity to the azure uh, cloud services over the public internet and uh, coming to the policy based uh, vpn so in, it encrypts and encapsulates a subnet of the traffic flowing through the network according to the defined policy uh, which we have done and uh, a route based policy vpn which creates the virtual ipsec interface and uh, whatever traffic hits that interface is encrypted and decrypted accordingly so that is the main difference uh, of these two so in this case i'm selecting the route based and vpn so the region uh, here i'm going to use is uh, east us and i'm going to give some name here like just say some example so and uh, based on the network that we have chosen so since in use east us so we have uh, uh, core services win it so that is the reason showing for example if you select some other uh, region let us say i think we have uh, is it west europe yeah no so based on the region uh, uh, you can uh, see the virtual network here so that is how i created and uh, just select an availability zone and make sure these two are disabled so this is how i created and just review and select and just create the validation field where it is okay okay i just i didn't give the name so just keep some name and uh, create it so that is how i created uh, these two the core services so we need gateway and the manufacturing we need gateway so once these two are created we have to connect uh, them both so initially let's go to the core uh, core services we need gateway so in this uh, as you can see there is a connection tab click the connection tab add and uh, let's give it the name as we need to win it and let us and so this should be fine is us and just click ok ok where did i went wrong second version ok which is manufacturing vnet so we have created let's go ahead and click ok so it's creating the connection and uh, similarly we have to do it in the manufacturing vnet so let's click that and let's add it So it's in the West Europe, just click OK. Well, uh, it's updating now. So once this is done, uh, you can uh, create the VMs. So as in the previous video, we have created two different VMs in these two different networks. And uh, we have used uh, the testnet connection command to test whether uh, it's successfully connecting or not so similarly you can do the same way uh, but in the previous video we have used peering but in this case you have to just use uh, uh, the virtual network gateway where the data is encrypted so this have uh, you need to proceed with the uh, virtual network gateway i hope you guys have understood the concept uh, 
so if you have like the video please click like and below and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and thank you guys